Hi, I'm Simon from yay.com and in this tutorial you will be learning how to create your first call route. A call route is a series of steps that an incoming call will go through before it is connected to the recipient. To create your first call route, log into your yay.com account and select My VoIP from the main navigation. Next go to Routing and select Call Routes. The Call Routes page will now be displayed and show a list of all the call routes currently available on your account. By default, yay.com will have set up a couple of sample call routes for you. We are going to be creating a new call route, so you can ignore these for now. To create a new call route, click the Add Call Route button. The Routing Options page will now be displayed. The first thing you need to do is give your call route a nickname. Enter a name for this route in the Route Nickname field. This name can be changed later and is simply to identify the route. It is not necessary to set any of the other fields for your call route to work, but I'll quickly go over their function. Hold Music allows you to select an audio file to be played to the caller when they are put on hold. Call Recording enables or disables automatic recording of all calls on this route. Caller ID type sets what is displayed when you're receiving an incoming call. This could be the route name and caller ID, or just the caller ID number. Caller ID number allows you to set the number that will be displayed in the previous caller ID type. This can be set to incoming or receiving number. Extension allows you to set an extension number for this call route. Now that you have covered the routing options, it's time to actually create the call route itself. A call route always starts with incoming call received. You now need to set where the incoming call will go next. This is done by adding routing modules. Each routing module allows you to direct the incoming call in a different way, and I will be going over the modules in separate videos. For your first call route, we simply want to send the all incoming calls to a single recipient. Select the Send User External Trunk routing module. This module will now appear in your call route. The first option of this module is Send Call To. Click in the Send Call To field and a list of SIP users on your account will be displayed. Select the SIP user you would like to receive all incoming calls. You can see the SIP user you selected appear here. It is not necessary to set any of the other fields to complete your call route, but I will quickly go over their function. The Ring 4 field allows you to set how long the incoming call will ring before moving on to the next call routing module in the sequence. Currently we have no other modules, so this call would hang up by default after 30 seconds. Calling Tone allows you to set an audio file that will play to the caller instead of the standard ringtone. Whisper is an audio file that will play to the recipient when they pick up the incoming call. This can be useful if you have multiple phone numbers and need to answer the phone in a particular way for each one. We will leave all these settings at their default for now. Before we save our call route, let's quickly go over these steps. An incoming call is received. It will then be sent to the SIP user's phone. If they do not pick up within 30 seconds, the call will automatically hang up when it reaches the end of the call route. Now that we have our call route complete, we need to save it and assign it to an incoming phone number. Select Save Changes. The Assign Call Route pop-up will now appear and list the phone numbers on your account. Select the phone number you want to use the call route we have just created and click Assign Now. You can check that your new call route is active by going to Numbers and selecting Numbers. You will now see a list of all the numbers on your account. Find the number you assign the call route to and check the call routing column. You will see the nickname you gave your call route, confirming that it has been assigned successfully. Now when someone calls this number, they will follow the call route you created. For more tutorials on call routing and other VoIP features, check out yay.com's YouTube channel. To learn more about VoIP services including our 30-day trial, please visit yay.com.